So Chuck Todd had a number of comedians on Meet the Press uh, to talk about the end of the year and all the things that happened in the news. Uh, he had W. Kamal Bell and Louis Black. And um, as Louis Black was talking about the news and the state of the media, Chuck Todd accidentally admitted something that is very interesting. I really do think part of the problem is, is that the cynicism is caused by the fact that more in the course of my lifetime and having lived in Washington, that Washington is increasingly in a bubble, much the same way that a lot of people who live in Hollywood are in a bubble. When I started going on the road 25 years ago and I was told, well, you're too angry, they're not going to get it. They, what I was discovering was they were angrier than I was. And there's a sense of disenfranchisement now that, that I think is seen in the, in the number of people who went and voted that I have just never experienced in my lifetime. Right. And right. I've watched you and everybody else where somebody comes on, and I don't know how you do it, because I'd be, I, I don't know how you do it, I'd be barking at them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sit there and go, <laughs> and you sit you there. Know, we all sit there because we all know the first time we bark. It's the last time we do the show. Yeah. There's something sometimes, or it's the last time you're ever, all of a sudden, nobody will come on your show, right? Yeah. There is yeah. that balance but, but sometimes. Same same thing that oh, there it was. Wow, what an admission, right? I mean, that's what we've been saying on the show for a long time, right? And that's part of what I said about MSNBC, where Chuck used to also work, right? Where I worked and why I left. And there he just admitted. He said, the first time we bark is the last time we do the show. And he also said, and this is really important, it's about access. Right? He said, they won't come on our show anymore if we bark. Bark, all that means is hold them accountable, aggressively. It doesn't mean yelling, it doesn't mean screaming, it doesn't mean losing your temper. It means, hey, listen, you said this, but it isn't true, or here's where you got the money. Now, it seems that you vote uh, almost 100% of the time with the way that your donors want you to vote. Isn't that interesting, Quince? Well, oh, you're barking, Chuck, you're barking, barking up the wrong tree. Okay, and that'll be your last show. So access is a huge part of it, and obviously what your bosses think and how they don't want you to bark is an enormous part of what's wrong with the media. See, Louis Black is right. <laughs> Sometimes people say, I'm angry. Well, there's even a whole movie called Mad as Hell about us, right? But the reality is that the people are angrier. Uh, the number one comment I get in the streets is, I'm so glad that you get to express my outrage and my anger, and it makes me feel better. Now, what they don't talk about is what are we angry about? We're angry that the politicians don't represent us anymore. And it's obvious that they represent the powerful, the special interests, the ones who are paying them through campaign contributions and through really lucrative jobs after they leave office. But those are the things that are left unsaid because the first time you say it, it'll be the last time you do a show on the mainstream media. That's as devastating an admission as it gets. So understand that that's why you have the lukewarm press that you do, because it's structured to be that way. That's why you need independent media, because we're the ones allowed to bark. We're the ones allowed to say the truth. I don't give a damn about losing access to politicians. Politicians aren't your buddies, and they're not the honorable gentlemen from Nebraska or Connecticut. They're the ones who have been bought. And yes, you should also talk about the people who bought them. Corporations, powerful interests, and sometimes the rich. Now, all those things cannot be said in mainstream television news, which then, of course, leads to the question of why would anybody watch that? Isn't it obvious at this point that they are actively concealing the truth from you? Because if they told you the truth, it'd be the last show they ever did.